Well, hello everyone, and welcome back to Adrian's Digital Basement 2. On today's video, we're gonna be looking again at this CGA card that I recently worked on on a second channel video. This is the one that had all that corrosion on it that I cleaned off with navel jelly. And then after testing it, it just worked perfectly. It was a follow-up video after that that I did some modifications on this board. There are some mod wires on the back and this mod wire right here that allowed me to do some hardware hacking on this. What I wanna do today is tackle what was left over on the edge connector here from all that corrosion. I'm gonna have to retin this because it's been, I don't know, a couple of weeks since I made those videos and I noticed it's already starting to look not so great down here. So I knew that I probably would have to do something with this connector after removing all that corrosion that was on there. Let's zoom up on there so you can see. A lot of the coating has been eaten away, which is why you see these little spots of copper. And well, I mean, it's not like it's all green and crusty now after a little bit of time, but it's certainly not looking super great. And flipping it around to the back side, I mean, that one there looks especially bad and there as well. So the whole thing is starting to look a little sketchy, which means I think I'm just gonna try to tin this entire thing. Now, when it comes to the exposed copper that was in other places, like on this connector right here, you see it's a little bit copper color there, plus some of the pins on these chips, like right there and there. What I did to protect that stuff is I painted it with clear lacquer, which is basically just clear nail polish. So even though you can see that copper there, it is now coated with a lacquer or an enamel that really should protect it from any kind of corrosion going forward in the future. And of course, I want to remove that stuff. You just have to use nail polish remover, which is just acetone, cheaply and commonly available, at least here in the US. But obviously I can't paint this with nail polish because this needs to make contact with the slot. And while it's working right now, it may have problems in the future if I leave this alone. So I think the first thing I wanna do is I need to get off the deoxid that's on here. And I'm just gonna do that by spraying a little bit of 99% IPA on there and using one of these magic erasers and just rub that. It should also take off a little bit of the oxidation that might have appeared on there since I processed this card with that navel jelly. Of course, we gotta do the same thing on the backside here. A little bit of deoxid, I'll use this clean part here. And let's see if that picks up some of the nasty stuff. Yeah, you see that? That's coming off from the connector. A little bit of sandpaper might also be a good idea, but I think what I've done so far is probably good enough for the solder, which is what I'm gonna apply to this to adhere. All right, so I don't really know what I'm doing when it comes to tinning these connectors. I'm sure there are people watching who know much better what to do, but I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my soldering iron here. I'm gonna use plenty of flux and I have rosin flux here. There's also like the no clean stuff, which is usually clear, but I'm gonna use this. Then I'm gonna treat this with some of this Chemtronics Chemwick, which is a solder wick that should clean up all the excess and hopefully just leave a very nice thin, thin coating of the solder behind on these traces or on these uh, fingers. For solder or solder, as it's called in some places, I'm gonna use this Kester stuff here. This is, what is this here? Right there, 6040, so it is lead. <laughs> so be careful about that. Tin and lead, I think, is the combo. and. Yeah, I'm kind of running out of this. So I'll need to buy some more. So we'll start with the soldering iron here, which I'll just heat up to about 350 degrees. So let's let that heat there for a second. I'm just gonna put a paper towel here to help with the cleanup efforts, because this obviously will be messy. This rosin core stuff makes quite a bit of a mess. So we'll just put a little bit on this on there. And now I'm just gonna go to town and basically tin all of these entirely. And yeah, this, this is doing exactly what I thought it's doing. It's leaving a whole bunch of solder behind on the traces or on the fingers or whatever these things are called. <laughs> Okay, there we go. Now you're seeing some brown there. That's the flux that's left over. I'll be cleaning that up later, but you notice it's way too bulgy. There's way too much on those fingers there. So I don't think that will be good when I go to put that in the cart slot. And that's where we need to use this wick here to try to clean that up. Let's see how this works. If this does it all, hopefully it does. Well, seems to be doing the trick. I'll know more once I clean this up a little bit with some alcohol, but doesn't look so bad here. All right, well, I think that's a good first pass on the top here. 
Let's get some IPA on here and try to clean this mess up a little bit. We'll see how it looks underneath there. So I'm just gonna spray on the IPA. I think I have a brush sitting around here. Here it is, an old toothbrush. Yeah, I have to say that's a, that's a big improvement. Just wipe this with the paper towel there. Well, what do you think? Looks like there's a little bit there I need to catch. There's a little bit of like excess there, but it feels very smooth. If I run my finger across it, I don't really feel any raised areas. Oh, there's a little bit maybe right there. So let me just try to, just try to correct those a little bit. Well, I'm gonna call that a freaking success. While that is not as good as the gold coating that would have been on there originally, at least for longevity and you know contact durability, things like that, this has gotta be so much better than what was there. Now I gotta do the backside. And there we have it. So that's the top side looking pretty good. It's very smooth to the touch when I run my fingers across it. No bumps, no, nothing not unusual like that. And flipping it over to the other side, it looks really good. I think I did an even better job on the back side. a little bit of experience there. Yeah, that looks great. So much better than it did originally. So I'm confident now that this thing is definitely gonna survive the future, that is. It's not gonna corrode and fall apart. As long as I made sure to get that lacquer on all the various bits of components or on these legs of these ICs. Hopefully I did, but at least the edge connector, that should live another day. And then these are the little bits of uh, solder wick that I cut off the end, so not a whole lot used. This stuff is really relatively expensive, but I really do recommend buying the good quality stuff. Don't buy the cheap stuff, it just sucks. I like this particular brand. And I've had really good luck with this brand as well. Both of these are ones that I like to use and it's expensive, but it's worth it because it works well. So now of course it goes without saying that we need to give this card a test, right? Make sure that it still actually works in a system. So let me grab something and we'll do exactly that. This is the working XT motherboard you've seen on the channel. Not the one I've had all the problems with. This is the working one. I just took the ROM that I was using on the other motherboard that started having issues, stuck it on here. And uh, I think they had a BIOS on here that originally said system already. <laughs> so it's the system already motherboard. That's what I call this one. Okay, I think we are ready to go. I don't have a keyboard plugged in or anything else, but we should at least have a working system. That's normal, by the way. There it is. It is working perfectly. Freaking awesome. So my tinning of the connector did not ruin the card. And this thing really does live to see another day. I don't see any reason why this CGA card shouldn't keep working for many, many, many years into the future. <laughs> now, I'm pretty sure that there are other methods for doing this type of tinning on these types of edge connectors. If you have recommendations, definitely put that down in the comment section below. Let me know of the techniques that you use for getting a good tin on these types of connectors. Maybe I should have done a little sanding first. Maybe I should have used something else besides solder wick. Believe it or not, one of my friends, I asked him how he does this, and he says that he does it like this, but instead of solder wick, <laughs> he uses toilet paper. Apparently, he said, that works really well for absorbing a bunch of the excess solder. And obviously, if you don't have some of this and you need to do some tinning, well, I guess you probably have toilet paper in your house, so you could do it with that. I mean, it's possible that any kind of paper would work too. I don't know, or paper towels even for that matter. But I had the solder wick handy and that's what I used, plus a little magic eraser and you know the steps I've already just shown you and it worked great. 
So I'm pretty excited. I love this CGA card. It's like brought back from the dead and you know, the hacking and stuff I did on it. <laughs> I just freaking love it. If you have any ideas of any other mods I can do to this card to make it better, maybe add more memory. I don't think that's that easy, but you know, things like that, let me know as well. So this is going to be a really short video. That is it really. So if you liked it, thumbs up. If you didn't you know what to do, huge thanks to my patrons. Their names are scrolling on the screen on the side here. They get early access to videos and other behind the scenes stuff and they make it possible I do this full time. So thank you very much to my patrons. And there's a link in the description below if you want to become a patron as well. Subscribe, all the other YouTube junk. And um, uh, hopefully I'm working on the Plexus machine back there on the main channel. So watch for that. And I guess that's going to be that. So stay healthy, stay safe. I'll see you later. Or, <laughs> oh, I messed that up. Stay healthy, stay safe, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.